Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to, well I guess I've just decided to call it Lime Town or something, Limeville or something like that, um, and it's Ostrev. At last time around, got the basic layout of the uh, initial village houses and queued up a couple other buildings. Now it's going to take about a month of Sundays to build all of the um, all of the uh, the village things and I'm pretty sure there's still uh, some bugs with the higher speed um, uh, options uh, that basically uh, running on higher speed it seems to increase the uh, clock rate of the ticks but it doesn't make, make sure that the same amount of work is done in each tick. So things can actually uh, take longer in-game time uh, to complete if you run on a higher speed than if you stick on standard speed. And that's, uh, that's uh, nowhere is it really more noticeable than in the first year when you're building the uh, first nine houses so that your uh, your initial citizens don't freeze in the winter. On um, last time I played on maximum speed, uh, the last house was completed just barely before the snow flew, right? And that's actually pretty bad um, for timing. But apparently, if you leave it on standard speed. It can finish a lot sooner. Now, um, uh, I'm not sure I want to uh, leave everybody, uh, you know, sitting here staring at these guys going slowly back and forth. But it does look like they're a little bit smarter about delivering uh, resources to the next construction in the queue while the first construction is operating. So that would seem to be a benefit. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this play out for a bit on standard speed. I'll leave the, uh, the recording going and I'll try and remember to put it to time lapse it in post-production. But in the, before I get uh, started here, um, um, Right, I want to go through my reasoning for starting where I did. Uh, by starting up against the, uh, the border, I end up with a uh, straight edge that I can, uh, I can go off of. Uh, and that's not terribly useful, but I happen to like a straight edge. And it also gives me a, a, a cue where the town boundary is. Uh, that's a little more obvious than uh, what I assume is a red line. I can't tell. I'm partially colorblind. Uh, and it barely shows up for me. If it's obvious for you guys, great. But it's not for me. Um, anyway, uh, we've got... Um, so, so my plan is uh, ultimately we'll end up with the uh, nine... One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the nine houses here. And then we need to have uh, another uh, cart, uh, a cart parking and some other stuff. And um, yeah, so, so we got to get all these tents out, right? And then the storage will need a warehouse or two. And then the camp center will need a town hall. And... That will get rid of most of this, and then we'll end up with a uh, a uh, a couple of extra wells as well, uh, and a few other things. But in the meantime, uh, queuing all of this stuff up is uh, not going to be terribly beneficial. Uh, you, you know, queuing up more stuff up here. Uh, right. So without uh, further um, uh, f further uh, uh, yammering, uh, let the time lapse begin.
Okay, I'm back here. Uh, we've uh, completed eight of the nine uh, houses, and uh, it's uh, uh, going on to mid-September. Now, uh, out of curiosity, I had I, I had left this. Uh, I, I was going to jump back in earlier and just dump it up to uh, a higher speed, but I was curious how long it would take to construct the the nine uh, village uh, houses uh, at normal speed and um, yeah uh, it's been about two hours uh, since uh, uh, since I uh, uh, went away and the uh, the construction got underway now uh, some of the th and I may have d done a uh, fade cut or something like that instead of uh, a time lapse, uh, just because it's so long. Anyway, there's a couple things you're probably wondering about. First is these white lines; those are pathfinding failures, uh, and um, yeah, uh, and I think they happened because I had the uh, the building. Uh, uh, information window open when the construction completed and it glitched the pathfinding right um, so yeah that's um, that's definitely going to be uh, a little bit annoying and something to keep in mind now this is still early access so bugs like that are to be expected it doesn't however seem to have impacted anything now, there's a couple of changes I made also. I removed this uh, house from the queue, and that was to give a more direct path from these things into these uh, construction sites. And then I eventually put the ninth house back for construction over here. I also added a cart uh, uh, parking area over here and moved the carts from the uh, camp to here. Now I did that so that the carts were more convenient to the uh, the resources and the construction sites. Both of those changes combined made a difference in construction speed. So while it was taking almost a month to construct the first couple of houses, it took a little bit less time for the subsequent ones. Uh, now as something to consider for your own games, if you were to set the camp right by a forest, put the forester right there, and then build the houses in a ring around the, uh, the camp, and build them without yards so you can pack them closer together, you would potentially uh, be able to build them faster because there's less travel time. As you can see, the uh, citizens have to walk from pillar to post and back again to do everything. I also added a second charcoal pile because it's going to be needed at some point. Um, I added a trading uh, stall, a market stall, with firewood over here. Uh, so all of that, um, it's just general ongoing stuff. Um, nothing really changes. And also I added some benches along here. And you'll note if we uh, zoom in here. Uh, citizens are actually using them. So they'll use them for taking a rest uh, when uh, when you uh, or when they you know when they're taking a break instead of going all the way back to their house or all the way over to the campfire over here. Now uh, this last house is um, under construction, and it will be done in plenty of time because it's only mid-September. Uh, I figure it's pro if I leave this at, at uh, single speed gameplay, it's probably going to take another five minutes or so to uh, construct. So I'm going to uh, up the tempo to uh, t uh, five times speed. And that... Um, that should get that uh, sorted out uh, quite a bit faster. I'm not worried at this point in the game about that speed uh, causing uh, work overloads and uh, glitching out the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the timing. 
Uh, my computer's pretty solid, and uh, there's not much that it has to calculate at this point in the game. But the times 12 speed, it, it does uh, seem to, to experience some issues occasionally, and that does seem to slow down things compared to the game clock. So we'll just uh, wait this construction project out. All of the resources are here, except the thatch. We do have enough thatch. So uh, the next thing we need to do before building a building that needs a thatched roof is build the thatchery, which I have, I've rearranged this a little bit. I've moved the smithy up. Uh, I've put a well in and I've moved the carpentry ahead of the thatchery. It's because none of them need thatch. Uh, and after we've built those, then uh, we need to get some uh, trading and food production underway. Now, uh, something that we can do in here is uh, buy the uh, vegetables that uh, these uh, villagers are building or are growing in their uh, yards, the ones that are doing it. Yeah, uh, that's going to require building a granary, I think. Um, now, uh, we're going to need to... It's, it's, it's given us the, uh, the hint about building a thatchery. And, uh, yeah, uh, we're definitely going to uh, do that. But we need to get this last house uh, built. And it's just about there. And when that uh, completes, then we'll be able to observe the, uh, the tent here uh, get uh, taken down. Uh, and uh, yeah, now take a look here. Uh, you can see the paths left in the grass uh, from the, where the tents were. <laughs> um, right. Okay, so now we've got uh, Dimitro and... Uh, Marina, um, I don't know what the uh, diacriticals mean on on uh, Ukrainian names, but oh yeah, if you didn't know, this is uh, a Ukrainian village, right? Uh, okay, we are now constructing the smithy, and that will uh, that will get thing get some stuff uh, going here because we need to not run out of nails. That's absolutely critical. Uh, and once the uh, once that completes, then uh, then we'll we'll get on with a well, and then we'll get on with uh, the carpentry. And that um, that's going to uh, going to make a uh, a decent start at the village. Now, uh, I will uh, put the uh, house back in here. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to uh, do that. Hmm. I'm going to put it back now. Uh, but it's at the back of the queue. I'm going to pause construction on it. Uh, because I, I definitely want the, uh, I want a sort of road uh, system here. And this, I want to be the road. And then there's I'm going to have a sort of town square here. That's why I put the town hall there. Um, now, somewhere along here is the entrance for the, um, the, Whoops. Somewhere there's the entrance to the... to the map. Um, where is it? I'm not sure where it is. I think it's along the top here. 
There is, uh... Um, okay, maybe it's not. Uh, or it's not colliding with, uh, with any buildings along there anymore. Okay, well maybe it comes in at a different point on this map. It has to come in on this side of the river. So it might be, it might be down here. Along this, or it might even be down here. But I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's up this way. Uh, and now that I've made you dizzy by doing that, <clears throat> uh, we have the uh, smithy is uh, operating. So let's put a worker in there. Uh, we'll uh, fire a uh, builder. Uh, so now we can get uh, a worker in here. Uh, we have also built a carpentry and we're going to need a uh, worker there. So we'll uh, fire some uh, builders as well. Um, right. Now we are also building the, uh, the thatchery over here, uh, which uh, it's quite a distance away from anything. But we don't need much thatch, uh, so uh, uh, so it, it can be a fair distance away. We'll ultimately have some houses closer there. Uh, I'm kind of hoping Yev implements at some point a uh, uh, a, si a system where uh, workers will uh, or, or citizens will prefer a workplace closer to their house. Uh, that would be uh, that would be quite ideal. Uh, anyway, we've got the smithy operating. Doesn't have enough charcoal. Um, right. Well, it can get charcoal because that's here. Um, right. And over here, um, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna let the let this one perform preventive repairs as well. And we will order a uh, uh, a fourth cart in the cart parking. And while we're at it, we're going to demolish this old uh, parking area. We have the well here operating. Uh, this well, I think, is going to be in the way. So I'm just going to uh, demolish it. Yeah. Um, Right. Um, I guess we'll leave the uh, campfire for the moment. Now, in here, yeah, we don't have. We only have 190. Uh, we have what? We have 190 thatch. The uh, warning. Oh, just because we're building the thatchery. Um, right. Uh, we're awaiting a thousand more more uh, wood there. Uh, that's likely partly because the. Uh, the carts are busy being uh, uh, repaired. <clears throat> now here, um, yeah, okay. Uh, right. Okay. There's there's too many logs there. Uh, okay. Now, uh, we are constructing the thatchery, and then we're going to build the town hall. That gives us uh, control over taxes and some stuff. Um, we got a well queued up to demolish, and uh, we've got a uh, paused house. Yep. Okay. Well... It's been a little bit since coming back from the uh, gap. Um, this is... Uh, oh, this is building. Okay. Uh, now, we're going to have the thatchery up before the snow flies. Uh, that's uh, definitely good. Hmm. 
<clears throat> I think this is a uh, location that's... Uh, oh, I probably wanted it over here. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. No! Undo. Um... Uh, no, uh, we want to go in here, and uh, we're not going to hire men here. Uh, no. Uh, and we're going to hire somebody to do the work. Uh, so one of the ladies is going to um, to uh, work on the uh, thatchery uh, over there. Um, yeah, I probably should have put it down here, but anyway... Uh, right. Okay, so the thatchery is up. And then we've got this, uh, the town hall, being built. Um, so, there is uh, something that will uh, uh, deconstruct the camp center tent. Um, but we need quite a bit of uh, resources here to uh, finish building it. Uh, I'm, now, I'm going to queue up some other uh, buildings. Now, is it in here? Um, yes, the uh, granary. I'm going to build a sort of uh, storage campus off the square here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to build it over here. Um... Right. So I'm going to face this this way. I'm going to put fences around this uh, storage campus. I'm going to have this here. And I'm going to also put a warehouse. Where's the entrance? Okay, I'm going to put a warehouse... Uh, over about here. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to put the fence around that yet. Uh, and uh, and uh, the reason for that is uh, <clears throat> I don't want to redirect the, uh, the workers uh, just yet. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's the uh, general idea. But anyway, once the uh, warehouse is constructed, we'll move our uh, iron nails and thatch into it. And then this will get out of the way. Um, okay, so the thatchery is uh, operational and it is producing thatch. Okay, so that's going to work okay. Now, we're going to need some education as well. Uh, we have children here already. Um, now, how's this coming along? We need... Oh, yeah, we're, we're uh, bringing in um, uh, quite a, a lot of uh, resources here. Um, hey, everything is just about here, and then it can start uh, uh, finishing things, right? Oh, we uh, we have a spare spare guy, so uh, get him on the uh, the construction. Uh, okay, do we need two guys here? No, we're we need uh, two guys here. Um, yeah, we need two guys in here. Um. Resource supply. Uh, we're going to allow laborer uh, by cart and hands as well. Yeah, okay. And also here, uh, resource supply. We're going to allow laborer by cart and hands. Here, uh, we're going to allow laborer by hands as well. Okay. And our first winter has arrived. All of our uh, villagers have houses. 
Well, it looks like he's updated the graphics a bit for winter. I think that there's more texture on the snow. Well, I'm not I'm not complaining about that. Um, I could be wrong about that too. Uh, anyway, uh, so our uh, town hall is going up, and after the town hall completes, I'm going to put the cut in, and then next episode uh, will be some uh, planning and uh, working around some other things. Uh, actually. No, it, it should finish uh, reasonably quickly here. Um, right. Okay, now, are the uh, carts... Uh... Okay, so we've got a cart... Uh, we're waiting for wood. Okay. Uh, that's why. Okay. Uh, then the, the work day has to start. Then we'll get a fourth. Uh, yep, the cart's almost done. There it is. Um... There we go. Uh, we have uh, a cart there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, now this here. Uh, yeah, it's uh, almost done. Right. There we go. Um, okay, we've got our mayor. We don't need a counselor yet. Um, hire options. Uh, we can hire women. Let's hire the ladies as counselors. Okay, let's hire a counselor. What does a counselor get us? I mean, why not have a uh, counselor, right? Uh, okay, good. Uh, well, as I said, I'm going to put the cut in here. Uh, and that is... Uh, the first summer, uh, first season of, uh, of the Ostrov game. And uh, we got our uh, necessary houses up. We got uh, the thatchery, the smithy, the carpentry. Uh, those are all the critical items up, uh, including the charcoal. Um, and now we can get on to some other uh, details like... Uh, the uh, granary where we can buy vegetables of whatever produce from our uh, the villagers and we can also uh, store our other stuff in uh, warehouses okay so that's um that's going to be all for this time so go ahead like comment subscribe you know all that business you can also uh dislike if you prefer it's still an option you know and the bell. If you turn that on, you might get some notifications about uh, new videos. You might find that useful, or you might not. Entirely up to you. Anyway, see you back next time.